It is the ultimate honor, a final way to say thank you for giving so much. The Boulder City Veterans Cemetery, each grave marked with a memorial, 130 pounds of granite, only now, not too far from the cemetery in a Boulder City neighborhood, 77 of those gravestones are here. Not a memorial, but a backyard patio. It's appalling. The evidence is right there. With inside information and a fear of retribution, George came forward to blow the whistle to stop this from ever happening again. Is it ethically appropriate for two state employees to help themselves to gravestones? Those employees are Tammy and Kevin Jenicky. Tammy works in the veterans' home. Her husband, Kevin, actually works at the cemetery where the stones should be. The I team wanted to know if the allegations were true. Hello. Tammy Jenicky wouldn't say yes. To our knowledge, um, we have not done anything wrong. And she wouldn't say no. Are they gravestones from the cemetery back there? Um, and that would, you know, I, I don't. I... Do they have engravings on them right now? I, I'm not even saying that we we have them. You need to talk with Carol. It would appear that the possibility is very, very strong that they are gravestones. Carol Turner is one of Tammy Jenicky's bosses in the State Office of Veterans Services. She confirms to the I team that these are, in fact, stones from the cemetery. And now with the word out, an investigation is underway. We are taking this very, very seriously, and we will leave no stone unturned. When the spouse of one of these veterans passes, husband and wife can be buried together. That means a new stone for both names. Turner never expected anyone to take the old stones home for personal use. The reasonable, prudent judgment and common sense um, should prevail. In Turner has to lean on the rules for proper disposal for old stones. The only problem? The Nevada Office of Veterans Services does not have a formal policy in place. That's why the Jenikis feel the stones were up for grabs. Everything that we've done has been within the policies that have been explained to us. The federal government sees it differently. The Veterans Affairs Department in Washington tells the I-Team the gravestones are always government property and that they cannot be used for any purpose other than to mark the grave of a veteran. Very Turner says the Jenikis' actions go against her department's mission. Is to serve Nevada veterans in life and to memorialize them in death. So it, it isn't, in your mind, disrespectful? We would never do anything um, to disrespect um, any, anyone. Like an American flag, these weighty memorials must have an honorable destruction, ensuring that none of them can ever be seen in the wrong light, not from the sky or from a backyard. Now, the state veterans office says the Genikees may face sanctions and disciplinary action for all of this. They will return each and every one of those stones.